Hey, we're going to talk about Google Maps and location services and how these services might be applicable to business, but also just to individual users. And so most of this is going to deal with Google Maps. I'm going to go ahead and pull up Google Maps uh, on, my, on the screen here. And so you're looking at Google Maps on a, on a PC. I'm using um, Firefox for my browser, but you should probably use uh, Google Chrome since Google Sites is a, or Google Maps is a um, Google product. So we're, the first part of this assignment that we're looking at is you're gonna look into uh, how GPS works, global positioning systems, it uses satellites so that your phone knows where it is. How does your phone know where it is? So most of you are going to be using phones for, uh, you know, for maps and so forth. But um, this exercise will be on your PC. But your phone is your is is the most important device for most of us. So um, you're going to answer. You're going to look into how does your phone know where it is and why is that important. Uh, and there's a couple of articles, or there's an article, I should say, in a video. It's kind of a kid's video, but uh, it's a good way of explaining what GPS is. Uh, a lot of people think that the, uh, a global positioning satellite uh, tracks you uh, and, and, and locates you, but it doesn't. It just sends out a signal, and your phone picks up that signal, and it uses the distance. Uh, it, it calculates its distance from various satellites, and so it knows how far away it is. Uh, from the satellites, and so knowing that information, it can determine where it is uh, on the Earth. So that's one of the ways that your phone knows where it is. It also uses things like Bluetooth and cell towers and things like that to determine uh, a little more precisely where it might be. So it uses all those services, and once the phone knows where it is, it can send that information back to Google, uh, or it can, it can download a Google map from Google and pinpoint its location on a map. Uh, it can be used for other things as well, like, you know, you can, um, you can, once you know where you are, you can use Google or other search capability to determine, you know, hotels that might be near me. So if you're traveling, you can pop up your phone and um, search for hotels near me to see where, where, where you can stay, or restaurants, or Mexican food restaurants near me, those kinds of things. Um, so we're going to look at that, and so there's an article and there's a video, and then uh, you're going to get into... Um, Google Maps. So the way you get to Maps is you can go to maps.google.com. And once you're there, I'm using my mouse wheel um, to scroll in and out. And so you can see that I'm in Beaumont, but I can move down like to the county or over to I'm zooming in and out with my mouse on Google Maps. Okay, so I'm just going to run into, uh, let's go to uh, Fort Arthur. How about around uh, Walmart? There's Walmart and there's Central Mall. So it's kind of an area most of us are probably fairly familiar with. So I'm on the map, and normally um, I would have a blue dot, which indicates my location. I don't right now because I've got privacy settings turned off on this. And uh, anyway, um, so what do we do? How do we do Google Maps? Well, one thing we can do, for example, is we can just zoom in and find things, right, and look around. It's one thing we can do. So here's Highway 365 right here. And this is 365, and also um, this is 699, So near Central Mall. So uh, that's one thing we can do with maps: is just kind of move it around, I'm clicking and dragging around. We can also search for various things. So let's say I wanted to go to um, Central Mall. Now this is pretty nice because in the old days, the first days of maps, you wouldn't be able to just type in, you know. Central Mall, you have to actually know an address. But now um, Google has picked up with search and search engines and so forth. It knows that uh, certain business names are associated with certain addresses. So it's nice to do. So I'm just going to click on this one. And it takes you there. And now you can see it puts a pin right here on the map. Okay. And it gives me information about it over here. I can get directions. Let's say I wanted to um, get directions from. Um, Let's just say it could do your, your if it knows your location through GPS, you could uh, it'll say your current location. But I could also put um, you know I want to get from Parkville Mall in Beaumont to Central Mall, and so when I do that, it gives me a route. And so right now it takes 22 minutes. You can see right here it says 22 minutes. 
and uh, if you, and this would be the route. You would come down uh, 696, and you would come around Cardinal Drive, and then zip on down here to Central Mall. Now, you've got some other options. You know, you could go down MLK here, and then, you know, even down Twin City, you know, it'll be 27 minutes. So it's, it's nice, and it, this change is based on traffic. Um, so it, sometime a day, if, if there's a traffic jam, they might route you some of the ways. So this is really handy to have in your car. Uh, so you might have Google Auto or, or Apple, and Apple, by the way, has maps that do this as well, Apple Maps. But Google is kind of the standard that most people use, Google Maps. But anyway, uh, if you're doing this on your phone, you would install one of those apps, uh, Google Maps, for example, uh, on your phone. So this gives you directions. If there's any traffic, it'll show up as red, and this is in the assignment. Uh, if it's if it's uh, stopped, it's red. If it's um, if it's just slowing down, it's, it's usually orange. But now think about, I want you to kind of consider some of this, how, uh, how does Google know where traffic is stopped? How does it know that the cars are stopped? Is there a camera? I mean, what's going on? Well, if it knows where the phones are, where your phone is and everybody else's phone, essentially, then it knows where the phones uh, are stopped. Because if they normally move at a certain rate on this particular stretch of highway, and all of a sudden they don't, then, you know, Google knows that. And so it can pop that on the map for you and, sh and show you or redirect you to other places. This is an interesting technology. Um, okay, so one of the things you're also going to have to do is something called, um, I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit, something called uh, Google Street View. And uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a fun technology, I think. So I'm going to zoom back into it. Let me X this out and get out of this. And I'm just going to go back to my map here. And I was pinpointing Central Mall down here. So we'll just continue to pinpoint Central Mall. So once you've done this, there's this little man over here. You see right here in the bottom of my screen? Um, you can drag this guy, and you can pop him anywhere. See, I'm holding him. Ah, I like to make uh, noises while I do it. Ah, help, help, don't drop me. But I'm going to drop him. Uh, let's say I drop him right by right here, Central Mall, or by Central Mall. And I drop him there. Now I'm in something called Street View. And there's the emergency, neighbor's emergency center. I can drag my mouse around and look around. I'm dragging. I'm holding the mouse down and dragging. And I can look up in the sky. So um, this is Google Street View. Then I can also click. You know, like I can click right here. And I can move. I can drive down the road. Look at things as I'm going. There's Jason's Deli. I'm getting hungry. Okay, so this is Google Street View. It can be really useful for a lot of things. And you can, you can uh, if you're thinking about buying a house and you want to look at the neighborhood, this is a really nice thing to do. One cool thing about it is if you can go back in time as well. For example, I'm here. I'm, I'm looking at the neighborhood, neighbor's emergency center here. But if you look over here to the left, I can go to Street View right here. And I can go back in time. You see? There it is now, but I can go back to like 2008 and click on it. And now it's an Apple to these. So, one of the, and there's a bank there where it's not a bank anymore. We go back to the current date by doing that. No bank there. So, that's an interesting, interesting thing. Google Street View. And you have a few things to do in this exercise related to Google Street View. Um, so, one of the questions is how does Google get all these pictures? They're not live pictures, uh, they are. They are taken generally by a car. There's a car that actually drives around and Google um, and takes pictures. It's got a big camera on it. In fact, I've seen it drive around. I've gotten in Google Street View. Um, you, there's actually a place over there in Port Natchez. One day, my, uh, my sister and I, uh, I saw the Google drive, car go drive, drive by. And I said, let's go. We've got to get in the Google Street View. And this was back in like 2008, probably. I don't know. And it, and it really wasn't well known. It hadn't really come out yet. But I'd read about it and I recognized the car. It said Google on the side. It had a, a round turret looking thing on the top, which was the camera. So anyway, we got out and chased the Google car to try to get in front of it so that we'd be in Google Street View. And then a year or so later, it came out and I could, I could actually go to that location and, and, and see me standing on the side of the road. So one important thing you need to do is to practice your, your pose just in case you, you keep your, uh, your, the Google car come, comes driving by. Because uh, I look pretty lame just standing out there by the side of the road, uh, smiling as the car goes by. But there's some privacy issues related to that, right? You know, um, it, it catches people. 
you know, in compromising situations maybe, or, um, it, you know, it, it, it might not be something you want people to see. But so there's some controversy about that. And they do blur out like license plates and so forth now wherever they can. So uh, that's Google Street View. So. Okay, one thing I'd like to also show you is uh, different views that you can have here. If you move your mouse over to this side, you can see you can have a satellite view, for example, and um, you can you know, see trees and whatnot. It's not just a map. You can come back over here and you can choose different things. For example, I can choose um, uh, traffic and it will show the traffic on the map. I'm going to zoom in for you here. And you, you can see that on 365, um, this is Central Mall going into the entrance. There's a light there. Um, there's some traffic on the, looks like the eastbound lane there on 365. Traffic seems to be stopped. A little flow right in here. So uh, you can see the traffic. You can come back over here to the left again. Um, you can take off the train or take off, see what I'm doing. I'm clicking on it and then off of it so you can see. Um, with the satellite view or not, or I can take the traffic uh, and put the in off or on by clicking on it. See how it comes and goes as I click. I don't know if you can see that very well. But um, that's one thing you can do. If you come here to terrain, there's an interesting thing. Let me get back on. Okay, so one other thing here um, I wanted to kind of show you here is this is, uh, you know, we're back um, in maps here. And over here on the side, you see different options that you have. You can go uh, to satellite like we were showing, um, but you can also click more here. And uh, if you're in satellite, you can click on globe view and watch right over here. And I click on globe view. You'll see that there's a 3D. There's also, you can tilt with the... Um, with the compass, but I'm going to click on uh, 3D to go into 3D view. And when you now when you zoom in and out, you're in 3D. So it's kind of a cool thing. I can zoom way in. It's kind of fun to do. And there's uh, we're by Central Mall, and there's Highway 365 in the freeway. And uh, you, know, you can actually see the cars there. Uh, I'm, I'm driving along, kind of like flying. You can see which cars are there at the bank. You see cars here in the lot. It may take a second for some of this to come up, to, to come in, but um, that's how that works. So that's a little bit on um, on Google Maps and um, location services.